The English ceramics industry during the first half of the 19th century created a great variety of objects. Today I'd like to talk about a few typical examples. First we have a circa 1830 pink luster creamer in a sparrow's beak form, that name due to the small beak-like spout. The pink luster glaze is achieved by adding a metallic film to the ceramic body using a material called purple cassius, which is a pigment formed by the reaction of gold salts and tin chloride during the firing process. Next is a very sweet miniature pearlware tea bowl, circa 1810, which features good hand-painted polychrome basket of flowers decoration. Notice the pooling of the bluish glaze at the foot rim, which is typical for pearlware. This miniature helmet form creamer with light blue transfer decoration in the form of coral branches and flowers dates to circa 1840. Transfer printing involves etching a design onto a copper plate, inking the plate, and then transferring the design to a sheet of tissue. The sheet is then laid on an already fired ceramic object. This next piece is a gaudy Welsh creamer with hand-painted grape pattern decoration and copper luster highlights. This ware was made for the middle class and exported in great quantities to the United States in the mid-19th century. And finally, we have a dark blue transferware Staffordshire tea bowl with a floral ground and panels that depict a single empty basket. This piece dates to circa 1820. This type of ware is often referred to as historical blue. Each of these pieces individually is very affordable. At auction, they might bring between $20 and $100 a piece. However, each represents a fascinating area of, of collecting.